We're making great progress in setting up all of the different resources for our app. Up next, I want to handle having a testing database. Now, in my regular Laravel applications, I would typically use an in-memory SQLite. So this would be no different. So how do we tackle that? Now that we have this base test case, this is where this will happen. And it is as simple as overriding another method. And that method is called get environment setup. So what get environment setup does is set up configurations for our package during testing. Now these are things that are typically set up in your app, but for testing purposes of our package, this is where it would happen. When get environment setup gets called, an instance of app is passed in. And that's what we're actually going to do to do our configs. You may not know this, but all of the different parts of app can be called as an array. So we're looking for the config section and we're going to set a couple of different parameters. First and foremost, we are going to set our default database. So database dot default. And we're going to set that equal to test DB. Now, of course, test DB does not exist. So we're going to have to set that up app config set. And what are we setting here? Database connections test db. So we're going to create a new connection called test db. And that has to be equal to an array. So what driver are we going to be using? We already spoke about this, we're going to be using SQLite. And where is SQLite's database? That's in memory. Does that make sense? As our app is loading up for testing, this get environment setup will be called and it will pass in the singleton of app where we're going to set a couple of different configurations. We're going to set the database default to test DB and then we're going to create that test DB with a driver of SQLite and it's going to be in memory. So with that, we're ready for a migration. So let's visit back the repo and see where those are supposed to be stored. If we scroll down here, we look at database and there they are migrations. And that's where your two default migrations typically are. So that's exactly what we're going to do here. Inside press, we're going to create a new directory called database. And inside database, we're going to create a new directory called migrations. And inside migrations, we'll create a new PHP file. And we're going to call it 2018 underscore 11 0 1 0 0 0 0 0 create post table and this would be class create post table and it extends migration so that's illuminate database migrations migration and in this class we need an up method and we need a down method this is the type of stuff that gets created for you when you run PHP artisan make migration. But in this case, we have to do it manually, but it's all the same thing. So we're going to have to bring in our schema and that's illuminate support facades schema and then create and in create the first method is the name of the table posts. As a second argument, we're going to pass in the function that gets called to create the actual table function. And now function will have a parameter, which is our actual blueprint table. In Laravel, that's called blueprint and table is the name. Now, one tip here is you don't have to remember all of this. You can use any of these default migrations to help you create the ones for your package. So you can copy any of these parts and bring them back into your package. In our case, I'm actually going to copy the down method. That way I don't have to write that. So let's substitute our down method and our table name is posts. For this table, we're going to keep it very simple for the time being. Our table will have an ID, we'll have a string, and the string is going to be identifier. We'll put an index on that. Now I'm not going to bore you with all of this. Give me just a couple of seconds here to get everything set up. And there we go. That's going to be our initial post migration. This identifier column is something we're going to be able to use to update our posts. 
I'll show you a little bit more on this later on. Our slug will be able to use as the URL, title, of course we know about that, as well as body and extra. We've talked about this extra column already and it is our JSON string. We will have timestamps and then index those. Now that we have our migration, we need to load these in and we're gonna use the service provider for that. Let's load that up. Press base service provider. In the boot method, we'll add a new call to register resources. And this is a method that doesn't exist and it's gonna be our grouping of things that we need to add. So this is gonna be a private method and the first thing we're gonna do is this, load migrations from, and the path is directory, and then we need to back up one, database, migrations. So we're gonna load all migrations that are inside that database directory and inside that migrations subdirectory. And there we go, we have our migrations loaded. In the next episode, we're gonna tackle getting a model set up and a factory.